Yeah, hi there. Uh, these comments are for J.A. I'm giving you some more follow-up comments on uh, uh, your situation. So you had a question. You say, do you think that 18 days are enough to reach my goal? You have to get two more points on the writing, right? So you need to go from 22 to 24. You can study up to four hours a day. I, I wish I could tell you yes for certain. I'm going to say maybe. It depends on what kinds of problems you're having with your writing right now. Some problems take more time to solve. Other problems are easy. If you simply have some organizational issues, you simply need to organize ideas a little bit better and you need to develop some of your ideas a little bit more, you can probably solve that fairly quickly. On the other hand, if you're having some language use issues, problems with sentence formation, problems with punctuation, problems with mechanics, verb tenses, parallel structure, subject verb agreement, pronoun agreement, uh, choosing the appropriate point of view in writing, if you're having problems with some of those areas, it may take longer than 18 days, believe it or not. It could be more difficult to solve. It just depends on what your issues are. Now, here's my next thing. Remember that you're, you're interested not just in reaching 24 points on the TOEFL exam, but you want to improve your writing skills for the long term, right? So I'm going to give you some suggestions right now of some things you can do because you want, you say you have four hours a day, right? So I'm going to give you some ideas on things you can do right now to make the most of your time while you are preparing for the TOEFL. And I know that you just signed up uh, to my course, so welcome to my online course. And here's how you can make the best use of your time right now, keeping in mind that I do have a rule at my website. You can only post one writing practice test each day. That means on Monday maybe you might post an in independent writing practice test. Maybe on Tuesday you might do an integrated writing practice test. So you can start getting feedback. And you don't have to do, do one every day, but you certainly want to start posting your writing practice test on a regular basis so you can start getting back some scores. Then you can make some adjustments, right? Okay, here's how you can use your four hours each day. For one hour, spend time reading. You're not writing at all. You're just reading newspapers and magazines. Now, you'll pick an article, read the article, take down some notes, and then practice writing a summary of that article. Start your summary with the main point of the article along with the most important supporting points. Try to use transition words to show the connection among your ideas. That's important. Do that every day for an hour. Now, number two, spend about the same amount of time each day practicing with listening materials. You might listen to news programs, documentary, history, and science programs. Do the same thing you did with the reading. Uh, listen to the passage, take down some notes, and then practice using your notes. Write a summary of that information. Now, if you do these two things every day, it's going to help your vocabulary, your grammar, your writing, your reading, your listening. It's going to help a lot of things uh, for your English proficiency, all of which are good, and your English skills are going to go up, your TOEFL score is going to go up. So do those two things every day. Now, the other two hours a day, you can use my website, right? So uh, I do have some pretty good lessons. Uh, I think writing lesson number eight, you want to look at that immediately. I think there's another writing lesson that shows you how to answer the integrated writing task. Make sure you take a look at that. So what you can do is go over, go through some of my lessons that help you understand the independent writing task. Go through some of those lessons that help you understand the integrated writing task and start posting practice tests. Remember, one per day, one independent practice test maybe one day. You might do an integrated writing practice test the other day and then you'll start getting some feedback. Now, um, your $38 payment allows you to get your essay scored. However, uh, it doesn't allow you to have everything corrected. I do have another service you might be interested in, and I apologize, it is expensive, but it does take me a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of brain power, but I will correct. If you want me to correct one of your essays, this can be very, very helpful for someone just like you because uh, I can show you every single error, every single problem you have in the essay. 
and I will rewrite it. Whatever you write, I will show you how to take that essay. I will do a video and I will show you how to change it so it can be a perfect score. It can be 30 points out of 30, 5.5 out of 5. So it might be a good idea to pay for that additional service. You can have me correct one of your independent writing practice tests. You can also have me correct one of your integrated writing practice tests. Now remember that your, all of your practice tests will always be scored at no additional charge. It's just if you want me to do some extra tutoring with you and to correct one of your essays to do all of that. Now the price is, it is expensive, it's $50, five zero for just one essay. But it is an effective service, and what you would do is you just have me do two essays like this. That's going to cost you a hundred bucks, and you've already paid thirty-eight dollars to become one of my students. But it'll probably get you going in the right direction. I think number one, I can diagnose exactly what all your grammar and sentence structure problems are. I can show you specifically what your organizational and development issues are and how to solve those, and I can do that twice with your independent and integrated writing practice test. So if you're interested in that, when you get into my writing part of my course, you will see a link. It will tell you more about my error correction service if you're interested. Now you're under no obligation to do that. You don't have to do it if you don't want. I know that a lot of people are on a tight budget. And for me, it's more time constraints. If I had more time, I'd like to offer that service for free but the bottom line is, it's, there's just too many students out there that want help with TOEFL, and I'm currently teaching about 150 students. So if I offered that free service to one student, I'd have to offer it for everybody. So I just can't do that. So that's why I've priced it at $50, and that way I don't have too many people asking me each month for this additional service. So I had to kind of limit my time in that area, but I just wanted to let you know I do offer that. But anyway, uh, thank you for becoming one of my students, and uh, good luck to you. So, in, in terms of uh, solving some of your issues, uh, you probably, if you get the writing study guide, you want to start spending some time with my grammar lesson number seven, and that's going to help you solve some of the editing and grammar problems that you might be having right now. All right, anyway, thank you very much, and let's do this. I have a good feeling that you can reach your goal. I hope that you can do it. I know you're going to reach your goal. There's no doubt about that, right? You've already proved that you can do well on the TOEFL. You just need to solve your writing problems. But the only thing I don't know is if you can reach that goal in 18 days. I'm being honest with you, right? I don't know that. But uh, anyway, have a great day, and thank you for becoming one of my students.